So, well, hi there, this is another project from me. It's a, a couple of watts medium wave transmitter where the power can be regulated. I think it goes up to 5 watts or so. And it's mainly a couple of units. And also what I want to show you is basically about antennas. Here is the main transmitter unit. Don't mind this stuff, the coil, this and this, it's not in the circuit. It's a, CD, it's a HCF 4060 divider chip that puts out a square wave signal on 1.2 5 megahertz, followed by a custom wound RF transformer with some high power capacitors in parallel, with a tuning capacitor, ground connection, and here is the modulator circuit. Of course it needs some cooling, which I should have uh, positioned better, because the coil is getting warm on high power and the transistor is getting warm, but it seems to cool right now. So it's already running, and we are putting out around about a quarter watt of RF power, 250 milliwatts. And as you can hear, it's working fine. But now I'll show you something. Because this is about transmitting with high power. You know these uh, part 15 FCC 100 milliwatts transmitters, you should know them. And as I said, in this construction, this thing is already putting out a quarter watt. Because it's on the final amp, I have around 2 volts at 120 milliwatts. And if you calculate that, you get around about 240 milliwatts, around about a quarter watt output. And on a quarter watt, everything is fine. I can uh, hold the screwdriver on the antenna. I can touch the antenna. Although, depending on how I touch it, it's getting hot on my finger. It's getting hot. But now I crank up the power. <laughs> I go up to like... Uh, I could go up to 12 volts, but I won't do that. And I will tell you soon why I won't do that. I will only go up to 10 volts. And then I will recalculate the power. So as I said here, you can align the power to any power you wish in this range. And now I'm on around about 10 volts. And as you can see, the voltage by itself is rising a little bit. That's because this transistor is heating up. So we need to cool it. So now I'm consuming... Okay, now I have pretty much 5 watts. 5 watts RF power on this uh, circuit. And I have to increase the volume. That's not really a big deal. Let's go up to like 90 or so. And I can already hear the modulation from the circuit board because the components uh, from the circuit board are already starting to uh, demodulate the signal as if they were a receiver. But now if I turn on my radio, we want to listen to the radio station. No, that is not sounding good. And you may think the transmitter is faulty, but I can tell you, no, it isn't. What happens here is, uh, despite from the noise that you may hear in the background, it's the fire serial alarm test that is every uh, uh, first weekend on the month, on Saturday. But anyway, here is the transmitter circuit. And what you may uh, see first, I do have a little bit um, a big amount of modulation, but it's not really a thing. What I want to show you is how much radiation we got. Because this radio isn't distorting and having a bad audio quality because the transmitter is faulty. No, it's distorting because the signal from the antenna is so strong, the radio can, it can't uh, out-regulate it. So it's, even in, at its lowest setting, it's just overloading the radio. But now, if I connect the screwdriver to the antenna, as you see, see I'm not even holding it to the antenna. I'm having some distance here, you can see it better. So you can see how strong this is. And if I connect it directly, we have like a halogen light. And if I now touch with the finger, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there are quite some sparks going on. Ah, that hurts. And look at that, you can even make some spark gaps. So that's five watts on medium wave. And what I want to show you with this video is that you really will get issues with the voltage because you need capacitors like this air capacitor, which are quite qualitative. They have a really high quality and they can withstand the voltage. But if you use like, for example, the red tuning capacitor you would see here, it would pretty much pretty soon fail. Okay, I'll be brave and I'm going to increase the voltage a little bit more because my problem is that I'm fearing that the insulation from the wire can take the high voltage. I'm going to up to like 11 volts with this uh, circuit. So I'm now on 11 volts and I will re calculate the power for you because I can't see the amps consumed by the circuit on the laboratory supply. Okay, now I'm having like uh, 600 
uh, 550, 600, uh, I think it's five and a half watts now, five and a half watts on the antenna. Um, I'm connecting the CD player again and of course the radio ain't really doing anything but now I'll show you something because if I take the radio and I go on the other end of my room where I'm far away from the antenna so this is pretty much the other side of my room so there we go oh it's loud it's loud but as you can hear There we go, and now we have a clear modulation again. So this is a demonstration of how strong a 5 watt medium wave transmitter is actually. And for those who are interested how, with how many volts I'm powering this device, I'm powering it with 24 volts. That means that I could go up to 14 volts on this uh, meter here, could go up to 14 volts. And now I hear it click, I hear it click. So even I, with this modulation I can hear some kind of insulation breakdown. So the problem with these transmitters is on a by the way, two meter 20 or six feet, six and a half feet long antenna. No, it's more. Right, it's round it's about six and a half feet long antenna. I get insulation failures. And as you can see with the screwdriver, I think it's a pretty impressive demonstration. So I'm not even touching the wire. So I think you can imagine how strong the fields are. So that's the antenna output. As you can see, as, as soon as I mismatch the antenna, so there's really quite some power going into this antenna. So this is just a demonstration of a 5 watt or so medium wave AM transmitter. Best regards, Stefan.